Okay, so this question, it um, looks like a standard bearings question, but something you might notice is there's no angles in it. So if there's no angles in it, we need something else, and that something else is going to involve the right angle triangle here. So we can see there's a right angle triangle here, and we know that when we've got right angle triangle, we've got two sides, we can find an angle with trigonometry. I'm going to call this angle X. Now to find X, we need trigonometry, and to do trigonometry, we need to label the sides. So we've got the opposite here, which is opposite the angle we want, we've got the adjacent here, and we've got the hypotenuse here. Well, the hypotenuse is no interest, we're not looking for it, and um, we're not given it. So it's O and A. So writing Socrates so or ka toa. Well, we don't have we're not interested in the H, so it's not going to be so and it's not going to be ka, so it's going to be toa. So toa stands for tan x equals opposite over adjacent. And the opposite is 47, and the adjacent is 72. Now, we want to work out what x is, so to do that, we want to inverse tan both sides. Okay, let's just scroll down. Okay, so on the calculator, you want to click shift, or the equivalent in your calculator, and then tan. And then you press the fraction button, 47, and go down, 72. Just don't forget to close the brackets. Every time you click tan or inverse tan, it opens the set brackets. Just make sure you shut them. Let's press equals, and that equals 33.1356, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's have a look. So, x is 33, but we still haven't got a um, bearing. What we can do is work out what this one is, and I'm going to call that Y. So to work out what Y is, it's going to be 33.1. Well, we're looking for a nearest whole number. So let's call that 33. And then we're going to add the right angle here. Now, the reason I know this is a right angle here is because it says that he heads west and then south. So I know that both the angle here and the angle here are going to be right angles because the angle between all four, north, east, south and west, all four directions are going to be right angles. So I'm going to add 90. And you can do this in the calculator or you can do it in your head. I'm going to do it on the calculator. 123. Okay, now bearings, something that we've got to remember, are always from north going clockwise. So it's always going to be like that. It's going to be that angle there. So to do that, we're going to do 360. And we're going to take away the 123 because that's the, what we don't want. So on the calculator, 360, take away 123. And that's 237. So the answer is 237 degrees.